What's up, guys? Um, I wanted to answer and address this comment as well. Uh, it was a comment based on LLCs, bank accounts. Um, well, actually, the comment didn't include bank accounts, but I figured I'd mention that anyway. Uh, LLCs, how do you manage multiple POD platforms? Uh, everything from like a legal, organizational kind of standpoint. Now, I am going to have a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. I am not here to provide you legal advice. I'm just sharing what I do. Um, so... Take this for entertainment purposes only, I guess you could say, uh, not education. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be held liable. I do not want to be held liable for any of your decisions or anything you do. So that's a kind of disclaimer. Uh, don't necessarily listen to advice. My advice, go to a lawyer, uh, kind of get advice from a licensed professional. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the question and I'll answer it based on my opinion through my experience. Uh, so it says, hi, do you purchase a new domain name and create a new Gmail for each store? Uh, do you create a new store name on different POD demand platforms? Do you get an LLC? Uh, uh, can you make a video about this? Thank you so much for your energy and content. Uh, this is from CO or Co. Uh, shout out to Co. Um, I also had questions from other people as well, asking me about bank accounts, asking me about LLCs as well. I've had other people ask me, um, even Gasconi, uh, Gasconi Passion, shout out to you. I believe your comment is here somewhere uh, where I believe uh, you asked about um, the whole email situation, like what do you do to set up multiple emails. So I'm going to answer all that organizational kind of stuff today about what I do. I'm not going to talk about what you should do uh, because like I said, uh, I'm not a lawyer, not an attorney, the whole disclaimer. You guys know what the deal is. Um, so the idea is you do, uh, or excuse me, I do have an LLC for the print-on-demand stuff. Uh, just so I can have it all organized in one kind of bank account, I have a bank account for it as well. Um, I'm not going to mention any names of any companies uh, that I you know, have this kind of stuff for, but I'll leave two links in the description box down below. One for where you can create the LLC the cheapest and a free company where you can create an online business bank account. Okay, so I want to be clear about that. An online business bank account and a place where you can create your LLC. Now, the idea is uh, for the LLC, you're going to want to create your EIN number first, um, or you could just go through the company and they'll, and they'll do it for you. If you use the, the link in the description box down below, guys, to create the LLC, then you don't want to have to need cre create your EIN. Um, but first, you want to think of a business name, obviously. Then when you go think of a business name, go click on the link, create an LLC. Once you create the LLC, they're going to create for you an EIN number. With that EIN number and with those documents, you're going to go then create an online business bank account. This is what I did, okay? Sorry when I say you you, you go create. I meant I created. Um, didn't mean for you guys to do that. If you want to do that, go ahead and do that. If you don't want to do that, don't do that. Like I said, uh, uh, you know, talk with an attorney, a lawyer, all that kind of stuff to figure out what you need to do. Um, this is not legal advice. Anyways, so... Once you do that, now you have organized where exactly your income is coming from, okay? So it's cool to create a bank account strictly for print-on-demand if that's what you want to do, especially if you're creating income from different streams because um, you want to know what you're earning, what you're not earning, where the money's coming from, etc. I'm not going to be giving any advice on taxes. I'm not a tax professional. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to talk about it. You need to talk to a, a tax professional to get that, you know, taken care of, suited and booted. All right. Um, I just don't want to give the wrong advice. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, once you get the LLC going, once you have the print on demand pl platform, you want to sign up to every print print on demand platform with your LLC, with your LLC name, with your business name. Uh, all the bank, all the money that comes in, you want it to shuffle into the LLC bank account. Uh, like I said, I've made mistakes in the past, you know, having mixed accounts and things like that, but that was because I was disorganized, I was young, I had no idea what I was doing, okay? Um, that's just my uh, approach and my opinion. Now, as far as the domain name, um, if you're going to create a website, I recommend you have no more than two websites, I'll explain. One website is going to be for the Printful, Printify, all that kind of stuff, so print-on-demand, manufacturer-based. So what do I mean by that? It's a white labeled approach or it's a it's a you know black labeled approach. 
Basically, you have a product, you have a water bottle, you have a t-shirt, you have whatever, you slap your design on it, and you connect with Printful, you connect with Printify, you connect with these manufacturers that can distribute and manufacture your product. That's website A, or website number one. Then you have website number two, which is connecting to all your other print-on-demand sites, so your Redbubble, your Zazzle, your Society6, all of that kind of stuff. You can create blogs on there, and when I say connect, you have to use your own creativity to do the connection, meaning um, you can use APIs, you can use code, or you could just generally just copy and paste pictures and images, and you don't have to do this for hundreds and thousands of your products, but if you want to do marketing for your uh, products on the other stores, the Zazzles, the Redbubbles, the, all that kind of stuff, that's an ability too. So one, mind you, one site is a store, and then one site is a... Uh, you know, is like a referral website. You're referring viewers or visitors to your other products, okay? The one that's going to be more profitable, I'm telling you right now, is the one that you own yourself, the store. The, the, the one that's going to create products and, and they're going to ship out and manufacture and distribute those yourself. So website A is going to be more profitable than website B. However, um, obviously it depends on traffic, right? So if you generate all your traffic to website B and not website A, well, then it doesn't really matter at that point, but traffic matters, uh, you know, infinitesimally more than anything else when it comes to a website being successful. Uh, you know, all websites can achieve success depending on how much traffic they get. I mean, you could have a dirt garbage crap website and send, millions and millions of real visitors to it eventually will make a dollar is it recommended absolutely not but um there are certain ways to to increase conversion rates things like that which we'll talk about in the future right we're, we're just starting here i feel like despite all the videos we've made honestly guys i feel like we have room to make another fifteen thousand videos because we just didn't go over everything, right? So we're talking about this stuff now. For the domain name, um, you don't need to make a new domain name every single time you want to create a new store. I'm assuming that you're doing this with Redbubble, with Zazzle, etc. You don't need to do that. Um, once one website will cover all the products that you have from all different websites. You create an individual blog post for certain products that you want to link to. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have motivational quote store on Redbubble, okay? You have all these motivational quotes on t-shirts, on aprons, on you name it, you sell it, right? On mugs, whatever. Let's say you have a blog. You create a blog post that says uh, 15 ways to stay motivated, right? And one of those ways you can recommend where people, um, you know, inspire themselves by pro buying products they believe in. And then you could take pictures of your products and put them in the photos under the blog post. If people are interested, they'll click and they'll buy. You know, if they're not interested, they won't buy. Um, but either way, uh, it doesn't really matter if one, one or two people aren't interested because you have a blog post. And that blog post... If, you're, if you know how to blog properly, which I've, I have a series on this YouTube channel about blogging, um, if you blog properly, uh, you're going to get hundreds, thousands of visitors over time. Uh, it's not going to happen right away. It could take a year before you get any traffic, um, any significant traffic, not any traffic. I mean, you're going to get traffic here and there, but it's not going to be significant. Not It's not going to move the needle, essentially. And no... I don't believe in one or two sales is moving the needle. I'm talking about replacing your income, uh, you know, the job that you have right now, whether you're an engineer or whether you're a doctor or whether you're, um, you know, I don't know, a student, whatever you are. Repla replacing income is what I mean when I say move the needle, all right? So what else? Also, uh, I believe Gasconi asked this, whereas like she was asking, how do you set up the the emails the 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 gmails the you know how do you create multiple different red bull stores so yes i do create you have to have different emails um gmail works fine uh yahoo mail works fine uh, any place where you can create a bunch of emails works fine um for me i think you were mentioning that your google drive it was that was getting messed up, something like that Let's go ahead and read the comment. Okay, so she says here, um, I think creating another store account messed up my Gmail default, which scared me off a bit. Perhaps I could just begin by asking if Gmail is the best place to create multiple account email accounts in order to set up multiple Redbubble accounts. Yeah, it's fine. You can create multiple Gmails um, and have each Gmail link to one Redbubble store. That's kind of how the game goes. Now, don't worry about your, your um, what was it here? Your Gmail... 
account messed up my Gmail default. Oh, don't worry about that. Like your Gmail default. I mean, you could easily set that in your browser. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, you know, you got nothing to worry about. I know. I know you mentioned here like your Google, like the photos, the slides, all that stuff. Um, if you want, you can open up a new browser entirely. Like let's say, let's say you use Google Chrome on a daily basis. Um, open up a new browser, so get Internet Explorer, Edge, Microsoft Edge, get uh, Brave, get Opera, get what you know, whatever browser you want, and then save your um, emails, all your other emails on that browser. So, uh, and you could have your main browser with one email. If that's really, you know, if that's kind of your thing, I'm not sure how technically advanced you are, but um, it shouldn't be really hard to do, right? Just download, like literally, go, do a Google search. Search for uh, a browser. There's so many different ones. I mean, you have a Firefox, you have Brave. I mean, the list goes on and on. You you know, find a browser that you like uh, and create a bunch of emails there, and you'll be able to log in and out uh, through Redbubble. Really, the only emails that you really should care about with Redbubble are your sales emails, um, which are nice always. Like, I mean, who wouldn't who wouldn't want any sales emails to notify you, hey, you made money? Um, uh, also, your verification email. So like. You know, like, um, I forgot my password, let me verify my identity, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's really it. Like, Redbubble doesn't really, st uh, other than, like, promo emails, they don't really send you too many too many emails other than marketing and, like, promo stuff. So, uh, you know, they're not going to have, like, random, like, verify your identity type emails, stuff like that. So, you, sh you should be fine from from that aspect. So, hopefully this guy's answered a lot of questions. The LLCs, the bank accounts, all that kind of stuff. That's kind of the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Somebody else might have a completely different scenario, and I'm going to state the same disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. I'm not here to give you legal advice. I'm not here to advise you in any sort of way. I hold zero uh, legal responsibility for the decisions that you make. Obviously, it's 100% your choice. I'm just sharing my personal experiences, what I have done. That's it. Um, so, hopefully this video helped you guys out shared kind of my thoughts on it, and uh, that's all I got to say. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, bye.